two speakers are separated by the distance of two meters and um, uh, the listener is located in front of the lower lower speaker and the distance between the listener and the speaker is uh, 3.75 meters uh, so let's uh, find out uh, quickly what is the what is the distance between the second uh, speaker and the listener so if we uh, look at look at these three points uh, so they make right triangle and um, in right triangle we can easily find what is the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem so uh, the theorem is that this distance is square root from d1 squared plus d2 squared and this is 4.25 meters and what is the what is the difference between these distances uh, d1 d and d and d2 uh, d minus d2 uh, because uh, this is the path path difference for the waves coming from the one speaker and uh, coming from the other speaker uh, and so this is for 4.25 minus uh, 3.75 is 0, 0 0.5 meters so uh, the path difference for these waves are 0 uh, is is and also for so what is the what is the frequency uh, when we observe when the listener observes um, a minimum signal? So we are looking for a destructive in inter in interference, and for uh, for destructive interference, we have a condition. So it happens when the, the following condition is satisfied. The path difference over uh, the wavelength is uh, 0 0.5 or 1.5 or, uh, or 2.5, etc. And uh, Let's replace this lambda wavelength with uh, the frequency, and uh, for this we need uh, the relation between uh, wavelength and frequency, and it is uh, one over wave one over lambda is frequency over uh, c uh, speed of sound. So if we replace this, we get. Delta L over C times frequency, and let's call this F, F minimum, and this is uh, 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, etc. And uh, let's find out uh, what is what are the possible values for this F minimum when uh, when uh, the listener observes uh, destructive interference so this would be C over delta L uh, and one of these numbers 0 0.5, 1.5, etc. Uh, so C is speed of sound uh, which is 343 meters per second. Delta L, we have found it is 0 0.5 meters. 
uh, and for lowest frequency mode uh, we choose 0 point, uh, 0 0.5 and for 0 0.5 uh, f minimum let's call this one uh, is 343 Hertz and next um, so for the next frequency mode uh, we just need to choose inst instead of 0 0.5 we need to choose 1.5 uh, which would give uh, a result three times la three times bigger than uh, the, the first frequency mode because 1.5 is uh, three times 0 0.5 and um, for let me write it here uh, second frequency mode would be uh, three times three times first frequency mode ah okay uh, and third frequency mode would be five times first frequency mode because because again uh, for the third one we need to choose uh, 2.5 and 2.5 is uh, 0 0.5 times 5 uh, so these are the answers so five times uh, first frequency mode and uh, uh, three times uh, the first frequency mode and next uh, so for constructive same same questions for constructive uh, in inter uh, so when listener observes when the listener observes a maximum signal so the condition is a um, little bit different for for this so delta l over lambda could be either uh, 0 1 2 3 etc but 0 is possible uh, only when delta l is 0 but we know that delta L uh, isn't, isn't zero. So uh, we can cross out zero here. And again, uh, with the same relation, so we can rewrite this uh, such that uh, include frequency. And let's call this maximum frequency. And it, it could be uh, one, two, three, etc. So maximum frequency could be C over delta L, one, two, three, etc. And for the for the lowest frequency when constructive interference is observed um, would be when we choose uh, one here. So C over delta l and uh, remembering the the values for the for c and delta l we can find the first frequency mode uh, first constructive frequency mode which which is uh, 6 uh, hertz and second frequency mode uh, will be uh, when uh, when we choose two instead of one so next integer and uh, thus we get two, two times first frequency mode and uh, for the third frequency mode uh, we choose uh, three so this is three times the first frequency mode 